Well, here we are, everyone. We got a full trailer. Five years in the making, but we got there. We're a month out from the show premiering. We might get another trailer before it airs, but this could also be it. So let's take a look at what they want us to see and know, and what the big draws are, and how they're going to pull in the old audience as well as the new one. So let's go at it again. Overanalyzing Avatar. Everything my insane knowledge on the original series can pick out. You'll hear about it. Shots, references, differences, changes. You'll hear it all. If this is the first video you've watched from me and you like Avatar The Last Airbender, you should check out my other videos too when you're done with this one. Anyway, shameless plugs later. Let's get into this. So our opening shot is of Zhao's lead warship when the Fire Nation sieges the Northern Water Tribe. You can tell because of this big, like, gaudy lion dragon design on the front of it. The world might never recover. The world needs the Avatar. It needs you, Aang. Now, I kind of rescind my point from the last trailer breakdown video, because in that one, this same voice speaks to Aang about how time seems to get all mixed up or repeat itself, which I thought was a conversation that would have taken place between Roku and Aang when he tells them the comet is returning. But everyone told me the creators say that the voiceover was actually Monkey Azzo, and now with the further narration, that becomes more clear. Here we hear the same conversation Dude, his that the channel Monkey is called Over Analyzing Avatar. Monkey speaks are nearly identical. We need <laughs> and especially with the reused footage from the teaser of the Fire Nation attacking the Air Temple when he says, we need you, yeah, okay, this is Gyatso. The next shots are interesting ones. My immediate thought was that this was Roku at the Fire Temple after he speaks to Aang and then busts out and stunts on all the firebenders. Because this guy seems to emerge from a fiery wall, kind of the same way that Roku does. And his skin does seem to have, like, kind of a blue tint to it to me. Thought they might have been going with a more corporeal form for Roku's spirit. But now, actually, upon further review, I think this is Sozin, and this is during the attack on the air temples as well. In this shot, we get a bunch of information. The guy firebending seems to have walked into a room where multiple firebenders have already been defeated. And also, if you look over here, we can see that the person he's fighting is wearing some pretty monk-like robes. And what kind of seals it is that you can even see, just for a few frames here, it seems like a mini tornado seems to kick up inside of the fire blast. So yeah, I think this is Sozin. But the big thing is, is the soldiers that are already on the ground. As we know, Gyatso's skeleton is found surrounded by the bodies of Fire Nation soldiers. So this could literally be Gyatso versus Sozin. It could also be Sozin versus any other airbender, because that kind of seems a little too on the nose for my taste. Like, the Fire Lord personally killed Aang's master. It seems sort of like, wow, that's unlikely. But also, in my head, it's kind of a cool idea. Classic shot of the Sky Beam and Katara and Sokka reacting, and we get Aang, who kind of looks pretty dope. This might be the shot where he emerges from the ice looking all intimidating, but then falls over because the Avatar state is pretty straining. And shot of the Fire Nation capital and palace, you can tell because the building looks right, and the Fire Nation capital, of course, sits inside of a dead ball volcano its highest ridges rise above the capital city and we can see that's the case here too in the background very nice shot of azula firing very an nice. arrow which isn't something we ever see her do on the show it does seem like she's actually in a lineup of people shooting as you can see there's another hand that seems to loose an arrow on the right side of frame here could azula be practicing archery with the yu yan maybe may or tai lee are going to be archers in this adaptation or maybe azula is just training with her men who can say snap cut to an explosion startling the gang looking at the architecture of the buildings this is probably on kiyoshi island and the gang is probably probably talking to Suki's mom, who we know is the mayor of Kyoshi in this adaptation. And they're probably talking about how the Fire Nation is inbound and they should probably leave. What's weird though is this explosion is green when it starts? Very strange. Now we get a series of shots of Zuko <sighs> ambushing- Fell flame. 